Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Thursday, December 2nd. And this local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow you. Palm Coast is restarting the search for a new trash hauler after major issues with WastePro missing collections over the past year. Just two companies submitted bids for the contract that were due in September. They included FCC Environmental Services and WastePro. So Mayor David Alfin says they'll start this search over again. A committee was selected by prior administration and reviews all RFP results doing comparative analysis and then makes a final recommendation to the city council. So I have every confidence that city staff, guided by our city attorney, will identify the best waste collection company to deliver the highest level of service possible to our community. City council will make the final decision on a new contract. Flagler County deputies worked overtime over the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. Amy Cherry reports. Sheriff Rick Staley says his deputies conducted more than 300 traffic stops. Deputies worked hard over the Thanksgiving weekend in Operation CARES to ensure safe roadways so our residents could enjoy a safe shopping and Thanksgiving weekend. Deputies conducted over 300 traffic stops, made multiple arrests, and investigated crashes, but fortunately no fatalities during the holiday weekend. We also appreciate the community being safe while driving and looking out for each other. One of the arrests landed a convicted felon back behind bars on drug and weapons counts. Police also investigated nearly three dozen crashes, including four hit and runs. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Amy Cherry. Citation Parkway is being improved, and that means you may need to alter your commute for a little while. Karen Johnson has details. The Citation Parkway improvement project will cause a road closure with a detour beginning today through Monday, December 6th. Brittany Kershaw is the Director of Public Information and Engagement with the City of Palm Coast. We are looking to have this project completed to the best of their ability as quickly as possible. And so during this time, the entire roadway will be closed and drivers will need to use an alternate route. The contractor on the project will be performing a milling and paving operation on Citation Parkway. Kershaw also says the city of Palm Coast appreciates the patience and cooperation of residents and motorists during this time. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. Flagler County's public lands and natural resource manager pays tribute to his grandfather who led him to the position he holds today. Rich Petschke has more. Michael Lagasse says it was his grandfather who gave the then 20-something a direction for his career. My papa, Bob Lagasse, was just a great example for me, and he kind of gave me gentle pushes when he needed to push me in a direction that he thought that I was like, and he was right in the end. Yeah, I'm really thankful for him. I think he showed me the practicality of what it means to be a conservationist. He was a great thinker and was able to kind of lead by example and show me conservation and being environmentally focused can be a benefit regardless of politics. Bagasse came to Flagler County 10 years ago and was recently promoted to his current role. He pays homage to his grandfather by prominently displaying in his office a poster created for his retirement titled Bagasse's Legacy that depicts the properties that his grandfather purchased within the St. John's River Water Management District during his tenure. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Rich Petschke. Originally, it was planned to help Flagler Beach businesses. Starry Nights is planned now for more than that. It's really for the community to just kind of get out and, and decorate how you want it and be yourself and also get to know your neighbors. John Luzier is the president of the Flagler Beach Business Bureau and a business co-owner himself. He came up with the idea for everybody to decorate their homes and their businesses for the holidays when he saw that Flagler Beach needed something to happen during the holidays. Luzier said that he's not asking for money, just that everybody participate in lighting up the beach. Starry Nights in Flagler Beach lights up tomorrow night and runs through January. The Flagler Voice is on WNZF on Saturday mornings at 8.30. Tomorrow, the future of Starry Nights in Flagler Beach. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. 
And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.